diabetes is the leading cause of non-traumatic lower extremity amputations in the United States. Anyone who has diabetes can develop foot wounds or foot ulcers, so it's vital to seek medical advice right away. Podiatrist Dr. Ryan Wood examines how diabetes affects the circulation, the skin, and the nerves of your feet. Diabetes has a, a metabolic component where the blood sugar is too high, but that sugar in the blood that's normally um, high in regular people after they've eaten uh, goes down uh, after a certain amount of time because insulin is secreted. Well, in diabetes, when they don't have that insulin, that blood sugar sticks around too long and it's too high and then it becomes a poison. And that blood sugar will affect the nerves and the small arteries, and it'll most affect the ones in, at the end of the line, which is the feet. Dr. Wood discusses how diabetes can cause a foot wound. It starts with high blood sugar. The blood sugar works on the nerves, and then the nerves are damaged. Once you have nerve damage, then you can't feel your feet as well. And if you don't know that you're cut on the bottom of your foot or you stepped on a thumbtack or a thorn, then it can become infected without you doing proper care. An ulcer is a lot of times when we have uh, neuropathy where you don't feel the nerves as well in your feet. You'll start to get increased rubbing in that area and then the, that increased pressured area will turn into a wound because it'll wear down the skin. The nerves, uh, once they get damaged, you don't get the same sweat glands. You, it's not secreting the same amount of oil now, so your skin is dry. Once you get dry skin and you get some rubbing and what normally was a blister before now becomes a wound. People with diabetes need to seek medical attention with any foot wound. As soon as it hasn't healed within three or four weeks, then it needs to see a specialist. There's uh, good support and information to show that a wound needs to be 50% smaller within four weeks. Uh, in order for it to go on the right course of healing. Proper care of wounds involves checking for blood flow to the area and relieving pressure. The most important thing is that we have the right amount of circulation and once we know that the patient has good blood flow to the foot and that the, foot, and that the uh, ulcer isn't infected, then we have to make sure there's no pressure on the wounds. And uh, we want to keep the wound in a moist wound environment, keep it covered. The old adage of uh, leaving it open to air is not, uh, is not the way to treat diabetic wounds. You got to keep them moist and you can do that with lots of different products. There's some products that have uh, some kind of an antimicrobial and then a way to absorb the drainage and then one that's easy for the patients to apply themselves. Diabetic wounds are very treatable. Um, we just need to make sure that we are doing the proper steps. Getting the wounds offloaded, meaning taking the pressure off of them, making sure they have circulation and that there's no infection, then we just get the right wound dressing and almost all these wounds will heal. And at our center, we're, we're working on a 98% a heal rate. What separates someone who's very specialized in wounds or a center that's specialized is their ability to offer some of the advanced therapies. Um, skin substitutes, grafts, um, utilization of hyperbaric oxygen. Um, but in, in our practice, uh, there's a huge utilization for surgery. Um, a lot of these patients have wounds because it's a, a prominent or a contracted toe or a, a, a contracted tendon that's led to uh, a deformity in the foot that just needs a small surgery to remove a prominence or to release a tendon. And after they get these surgeries, the wounds go away because it was more of a mechanical issue. Uh, with the feet, it's a weight-bearing bone, so it's different than any other place in the body. And so the, if we can release contractures, do a surgery to remove a, a prominence, then these wounds will heal up a lot better. Wound care centers are saving limbs and helping people get back to more active lives. So I'll have people come in where I haven't had a wound. My wound's been open for 10 years. I've had patients come in and then we'll have it healed up within just a matter of months. Uh, because it's just something that was overlooked or just some little tricks that we have in specialized in wound care that we can help them. And Yeah, it's, it's very gratifying to see patients heal up the wounds, not have to deal with this, not having to always have wound care dressings and that kind of thing, but then to heal it up and finally move on with their lives. Mm -hmm.